if you know this, this will give you an advantage. So I'll come to the eye patch in a minute, but in football, you often hear the story about a right footed player or a left footed player. And you might think it doesn't make any difference. But I know that when I was young, it made an enormous difference to have both feet. So that when you're a right footed player, your body organizes a certain way. And you see this kind of perspective on the football field. And if you're a left footed player, you see this sort of perspective on the football field. So it helps if you can see both. Now you might think this is nonsense, but in our bodies, we have a, what's called a masculine and feminine energy. Everybody has masculine and feminine energy. And to experience what that's like, put a patch over your eye. So I have a patch over my left eye. I'm looking out through my right eye. And in my case, my right eye is my masculine energy eye. And it sees things a certain way. It can measure things up really well. It's quite direct. It kind of gets the detail, a certain type of detail, accurately. Yeah, when I say accurately, I mean in detail. Now, if you were to wear a patch over your eye, when you're not using machinery, when you're not driving, when you're sitting in a coffee shop or something like that, and you want to get an idea of what it's like, then after a while, you will see the world a certain way. The way of the masculine energy in my case. Now, I'm now looking through my left eye and you think, well, it won't make any difference. I've just, you know, got one eye covered up and I'm looking through the other eye. But if you look through your left eye, if it is the feminine eye, you're going to have an experience of feminine energy that is inside your own body. And it's a very different, I'm looking around, it's a very different feeling. And if you do that for half an hour, you are going to see the world differently. In my case, it's a softer focus. The best way I can put it, and there's more movement in my case. I'm seeing things that I don't see with my right eye, which is very important, isn't it? Because it means that both my masculine and feminine energy are useful to me. My left foot and my right foot, in football terms, are useful to me. You know, I'm a man and I have masculine and feminine energy. I have the right eye and I have the left eye and they see the world differently. And if I want to step back onto a different kind of vision, I can use both eyes. And when two eyes become one, you know what's possible. Because if we look at the business through the right eye, we are going to behave in a certain sort of way. And if we look at business through the left eye, we're going to behave in a different sort of way. And if we deny one or other of the, our eyes, we're going to be looking at the world through half of our potential. Now this is important, I think, for men because we have that famous phrase, boys don't cry, which is an expression of the feminine. Tears are an expression of the feminine. So if we suppress the feminine, and I'm just about to do that now. I'm going to suppress my feminine. There we have it. I'm just going to be masculine, upright, direct, walk in a straight line, knock people out of the way, maybe. Well, that's not the whole of the masculinity, but it's, it is some of it. Then uh, if I suppress my feminine, my left eye, then possibly I'm going to be at a disadvantage. Now, do we do that? Yes, we do. Boys don't cry is one of those phrases which says, put a patch over your left eye. Just pretend it's not there. Just pretend that kind of collaborating, nurturing, 
kind of energy that you're experiencing through your left eye doesn't exist. I think there are some disadvantages are in that, aren't there? It's a bit like saying, play with your right foot in football. Just use your right foot. Don't bother about your left foot. I hope the disadvantages of that are obvious.